We're now at lesson 1F and we're going to talk about how to use number lines. This is the last video for lesson 1 before we move on to lesson 2. Number lines have equally spaced number increments. As it moves to the left, the numbers decrease, they get smaller. And as it moves to the right, the numbers increase, they get larger. When a number line has arrows at the ends, it tells us the numbers continue forever in that direction. We might see number lines for some of the problems on the GED math test. We can also make our own on scratch paper if it'll help us solve a problem. Okay, so this one says place a dot on the number line to show a whole number that is greater than 5 but less than 7. So it says it's greater than 5, so that means it can't be 5. All right, so it's not a 5. It says it's less than 7, so it's not a 7. It's got to be less than a 7. So the only number that is greater than a 5 and less than 7 would be 6. So that would be our place. See? Let's try this one. It says some number lines will have increments that aren't labeled. So it's almost like a ruler where it has the inch mark and it's got all the little notches on the ruler and you have to figure out that it's a half inch or fourth inch or eighth inch. So that's the way this is. We can see it goes from zero to 10. So this notch right here must be a five because it's in the middle. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it continues on that way. So it increases each notch is a one, isn't it? And it's increasing by one little number. So it says place a dot on the number line to locate the whole number 24. First thing we do is look for 20. It's right there. And because it's increasing by one for each little notch, we go 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 would be right here, wouldn't it? And then that would be 25. All right? This one says show the location of each even whole number less than 8. So we need to find an even number. So there's going to be a link in this video's description about even and odd numbers if you need a review or some help with that. All right. So we need to show the location of each even whole number that is less than 8. So that means if it's less than 8, then 8's not included. So 8, 9, 10 are not included, are they? Is 7 an even number? No. So it's not the 7 either. So we need to find the even numbers. Well, 6, that's an even number, and it's less than an 8. 4 is an even number. 2 is an even number. So we have 2, 4, and 6 because the 1, 3, and 5 are odd numbers, aren't they? All right. This one's a little trickier, so you got to use your thinking cap. It says, show the location of the whole number that makes this comparison true. There's some number that is greater than 4, but less than 6. When you see these, this is called an inequality. We're going to get into these when we get into algebra. You start by reading the middle first. You don't say 4 is less than a number that is less than 6. You start reading from the center here. Some number is greater than 4 and less than 6. So you're going to go this way and then this way as you read it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? So what number is greater than a 4 and less than 6? Well, it's greater than a 4, so these don't count because these are less than 4, right? And it's less than a 6, so if it's less than 6, it doesn't count 6. And it can't be all these because these are all greater than 6. It's got to be less than 6. The only thing left, it's a 5. See that? We can get rid of the ones that we know it's not, and that'll help us zone in on the correct one. Okay, let's try another one. Here's another inequality. It says, show the location of the whole number that makes this comparison true. Some number is less than 10, but greater than 8. Well, if it's less than 10, it can't be 10. It's got to be less than that. So all these numbers that are bigger than 10 don't count. It's got to be less than 10. And it says that it's greater than 8. So if it's greater than 8, it can't be 8, can it? 
And if it's greater than 8, it can't be all these numbers that are smaller than 8. So none of these would fit either. And look what's left. It's got to be 9, right? All right, let's try one more. It says, show the location of each odd whole number that is greater than 3 and less than 9. So because it says each odd, that tells me we're going to have more than one dot. And it's got to be greater than a 3. So because it's got to be greater than 3, it can't be 3. Can't be 2, can't be 1, can't be 0. And it's got to be less than a 9. So if it's less than 9, it doesn't include 9. And it's got to be less than that, so all these bigger numbers don't count. So which of these are odd numbers? Well, 5 is odd, and 7 is odd. All right? You should be ready to do the GED skill focus on page 41 now. And lesson 2 is next, so you need to really make sure you understood all the videos from 1A through 1F for lesson one before you move on because otherwise you're just going to be causing problems for yourself and trying to do harder things when you don't understand the previous ones, okay? The next video is going to be adding and subtracting whole numbers. It's lesson 2A and there's going to be links in this video's description for these videos. They're going to help you with number lines and even and odd numbers, okay? All right. That's it for lesson one. We're ready to move on to lesson two. We're getting there slowly but surely, one step in front of the one foot in front of the other, right? That's how you climb a mountain. You don't look at the top of the mountain, you just put one foot in front of the other, and eventually you'll be at the top. Okay? Keep trying. I'll see you next video. Bye.